The scripture in Matthew 5, verse 10 to 12. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you, and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Outlines the nature and grounds of persecution for righteousness sake. It emphasizes that those who endure persecution for doing what is morally upright are blessed, as the kingdom of heaven belongs to them both now and forever. Persecution may involve intense hatred and false accusations aimed at damaging one's character in the public eye. Jesus himself endured severe persecution and warned his followers of similar treatment as stated in John 15 verse 18 to 21. If the world hates you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love its own. Yet because you are not of the world, but I chose you out of the world, Therefore, the world hates you. Remember the word that I said to you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they kept my word, they will keep yours also. But all these things they will do to you for my name's sake, because they do not know him who sent me. He reassured them, that being hated by the world is a consequence of not belonging to it and following him instead. Jesus is assuring us today that the hatred Christians receive is a consequence of not conforming to the system of this world, but choosing to follow him. The Bible recounts in Matthew 26 verse 59 to 60, how the chief priests elders and council sought false testimony against Jesus to justify his execution. Despite failing to find credible witnesses, they eventually found two who falsely accused him. This indicates that followers of Christ may also face false accusations. It is important to remember that God will ultimately vindicate those who are falsely accused. Although no fault was found in Jesus, the authorities manipulated the masses to call for his crucifixion. Similarly, in contemporary society, powerful entities might use media, social influencers, and bloggers to spread falsehoods against God's elect. Just as the judicial system was influenced to favor a robber over the innocent Jesus, so too can cause be sweet against the righteous today. Luke 23 verse 4 to 5 describes how Pilate, despite finding no fault in Jesus, faced fierce opposition from the crowd accusing Jesus of inciting unrest. Today, similar hostility arises when discussing Jesus, with protests against religious teachings in schools and efforts to remove the Bible from classrooms. This resistance is not new, as Ecclesiastes 1 verse 9 states, that there is nothing new under the sun. Hebrews 12 verse 2 encourages believers to look to Jesus, the author and finisher of faith, who endured the cross and is shame for the joy set before him. This scripture serves as a reminder that persecution for righteousness is not unique to any individual. It has been experienced by many prophets and followers of Christ throughout history. Governments may persecute Christians for preaching about Christ, as depicted in Acts 5, 40-41, where the apostles were beaten and commanded not to speak in Jesus' name. Despite this, they rejoiced for being deemed worthy to suffer for his name and continue to teach 
and preach daily. In various parts of the world today, Christians face torture and death for their faith. However, persecution often strengthens believers' faith. The Apostle Paul, in his letter to Timothy, 2 Timothy 3, verse 10 to 12, recounts his own experiences of persecution and affliction, yet emphasizes that the Lord delivered him from all of them. Paul's life exemplified purpose, faith, long-suffering, love, and perseverance, qualities that believers should cultivate, even amidst persecution. He assures that all who desire to live godly in Christ Jesus will suffer persecution, but like Paul, they can trust in God's deliverance. I pray may God vindicate you in Jesus' name. May you never lose your faith in Jesus' name. May all the blessings of God come upon you and your house in Jesus' name. Amen.